Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today we're going to do some stamping nail art, but we're going to use permanent markers. I saw this video, I don't actually know where it originated from, but I saw this video on Facebook and it was in Spanish. <laughs> So um, we figured out, showed us how to do it, and it is a really cool technique. I think you guys are going to really love it. So um, it'll, you just use some kind of Sharpies or, you know, some like Sharpies. I don't have Sharpies, but I have something, you know, I have a Sharpie knockoff, okay? <laughs> anyway, so um, let's get started. I'll be using Wave Gel Base Gel and Shiny No Clean Top Gel. And I'll be using It's Raining Again. Okay, so I'll be applying the first coat of It's Raining tonight. Or Raining Again. I'll do that to the rest of my nails and cure it and come back for a second coat. Okay, now I'll apply the second coat. Okay, we'll cure that coat. Okay, so I have two coats of It's Raining Again. I removed the tacky layer from the three nails that I'm going to be stamping and top coated the other two nails. Today we'll be using the um, Lena Four Seasons Summer 01 plate and I'm going to use this image right up here. And I don't have Sharpies but I do have these permanent markers from Rose Art, the um, ultimate artist. Um, the parent company that I work for um, apparently owns Rose Art. <laughs> um, so I got these like 60% off. So that's cheaper for me than Sharpies. And I really don't ever use Sharpies. I just bought these for nail art. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Sharpie and directly color in parts of the design on the stamping plate. Don't know how much of the design I'll need to color in because my nails are pretty short. So let's see. Let's see what I put up here. Just want to make sure I cover my nail. Alright, I think that's probably good. I'll be using my Queen Stamper and Scraper today. Um, well, it's Blender Monster Scraper. And I'll be using Moira, and this is SP07, which is their white um, stamping polish. Okay, after you're done coloring it, the next step is to um, just cover it with the white polish. And you want to uh, make sure that your brush is clean before you stick it back in the bottle. Scrape it. Pick it up with a stamper. <sighs> Look at that beautiful stamp. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so awesome looking. And I wanted to show you over a, a dark but fun color. So it'll go over a dark color. This is completely amazing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is this cute or what? Oh my gosh, I'm just so thrilled with this. Normally, I don't show you the cleaning steps, but I am going to show you that today because it's pretty important that you get all of this cleaned up before you go and do it again. So I've got acetone right here, which actually is um, what I use for cleaning off my stamping plate. And then just 
wipe it all off and now we're good to go again Let's see make sure it's all dry and then I can start the coloring process again so let's see I'll try a different um, try orange up here pink yellow isn't this fun oh my gosh this is so much fun some blue down here okay. okay this nail is a little bit smaller so I think, I think we're gonna be okay with this okay so I'm gonna take the white polish and brush it over again Oh, there's my scraper. Another brilliant pickup. So we're just going to put these over here. I'm just loving that design. And so we'll do one more. And I've just been using my lint roller, and it's been coming off um, real good off of my stamping head. So let's clean it up again. Make sure you get in the little grooves. Kind of dry it off. And you're ready to start coloring again. This is a fun design. I like this. I haven't, I've got a whole ton of these Lena plates. I haven't used this one before. I really, um, I really like the design and I love how it looks with all these great summer colors. I can't imagine who like thought this up. <laughs> They thought, hey, let's color our stamping plate in with Sharpie and put some, I don't know, put some white nail polish over it. <laughs> Seriously. But it was a genius idea. Completely genius. I'm wondering if I have enough. Let's, um, let's just take it up a little bit higher. Thumb this kind of big. And get some more yellow. Okay, so back to the white stamping polish. I'm gonna brush it over the top. Make sure you wipe your brush off. I got some on that brush that time. Okay. I'm going to scrape it. Pick it up. And it looks so beautiful. And we're going to just stick it down right here. So I really like how that looks. I'm going to clean this up. And, um, and then we'll come back for a final look. Now while I'm at it, I'm just going to show you the cleanup process. Um, again, usually I'll clean my stamping plates with um, the acetone. And then it, it gives, it's kind of cloudy. I don't even know why. Why would that be? I don't know. But then after, after that, what I do is I take some, I take some alcohol. And this is just to shine up the plate. 
and I just spritz it and take a clean pad and then I just go over the plate and that just makes it shiny again. So if you have some plates you want to look shiny um, and all the um, stamping polish is removed, you can just use alcohol on it. Okay, now the last step is to seal in your design just like you normally would with um, your gel top coat and cure it. So I'm going to do that with all my fingers and then we'll come back for the final look. So here is the finished look. I I really like this. <laughs> I love this idea. I hope you guys do too. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.